Hi everyone, my name is Rodrigo Tomas. I'm an applications engineer at Bosch Rexroth US and today I will give you a quick overview on IndraDrive platform. Bosch Rexroth IndraDrive platform is a good solution for applications between 150 watts all the way to 4 megawatts. It's available for installations from 110 volts single phase all the way to 500 volts three phase and it can be provided as a converter solutions meaning that it takes the mains voltage directly on the drive or inverter solutions as well that requires an external power supply that will provide the necessary DC bus voltage to it and there are four Indra drive families that can be selected depending on the specifications of your application. So the first family is ML or large drive suitable for high power applications. There are the modular drives that do require an external power supply and they will share DC bus across all the drives of your machine. There is what we call uh, Indra Drive MI or also cabinet free drives meaning that uh, the drives will reside on top of the motor or beside the motor meaning that uh, pretty much no cabinet is necessary or very little cabinet will be necessary depending on your design and compact drives one of the most common drives in the market uh, and this is one of them. This is called IndraDrive CS and this is the one I will use to navigate through the features uh, and functionalities available in the family of IndraDrive. It's important to mention that the firmware is standard across all of them which means once you learn how to configure one of them you can pretty much use any IndraDrive and the look and feel will be exactly the same across the entire platform. And the first feature I would like to talk about is what we call multi-ethernet port. And multi-ethernet port means that in the same hardware or part number, uh, you can configure several different field buses such as Circles, EtherCAT, Profinet and Ethernet IP. And Modbus TCP is also supported without requiring a different piece of hardware so which means if you use in your uh, daily application several different motion controllers that provide several different uh, field buses the same hardware can support uh, all your applications one indoor drive can also support up to two uh, multi-encoder ports meaning that similar to the multi-ethernet port one encoder port, one single hardware, same part number can support different encoder protocols like Hyperface, TTL, SSI, Acrolink, BC and many others which actually means that you can use Indra Drive to control most third-party motors in the market but it's important to mention that when you use Bosch Rexroth motors the drive will recognize the motor automatically meaning that you won't need to do any configuration. It will be pretty much a plug and play solution. IndraDrive platform also offers a big list of safety features such as safe direction, safe speed, safe brake control, safe torque off, safe stop and so many others. And the safety commands can be attained whether through safety inputs in the drive directly or uh, safety buses such as safety over EtherCAT, safety over Circles, safety over Profinet and safety over Ethernet IP. IndraDrive can also be ordered with an additional set of Ethernet ports. It's going to be a master port that we call CCD and CCD stands for cross communication between drives and, and what it means is that one IndraDrive can have up to nine slave drives so you can accomplish like a machine with up to 10 axes without an external motion controller. But one feature that I need to mention is that the drive itself has an internal motion controller that can be enabled through a license. You can extend IOs through field bus communication. You can still control up to nine additional axes having a machine with up to 10 axes 
without an external PLC or motion controller. A few IOs come with in the drive. You have up to eight digital inputs, one digital output, one analog input is available uh, on board on the drive. But if your application requires a few more IOs, you can order like an extended version that will be installed in this uh, area here. And last but not least, uh, this display module that you see here also works as a memory module, which means that all the parameters that you configure in your drive will be stored in this display. And in case you need to do a replacement or if something happens to your drive, uh, you can uh, remove the display from the the previous drive, install the new drive, replace the display and your machine will be running in no time. Well, I think that's it for today. Thank you very much for your patience, for your attention. And in my next video, I will do a tutorial on how to configure Indra Drive and the most important features and common use features of the Indra Drive platform. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.